July 8, 2010, 1913, Harley Davidson. All original. Sold new in Hamilton, Ontario. One of three original paint Harley Davidson 1913 twins known to exist. This one is unique in that it has some very rare options, including tank top toolbox with all the original tools. Has gas lighting, front, with a little starter. And rear, the porcelain 1913 Manitoba license plate. The rear seat with the handlebars is a Harley Davidson option called a tandem attachment. I've only seen one other of these. Very, very rare. Probably the rarest accessory are the footboards and the rear band brake. This was offered in 1917 in the accessory catalog as a retrofit for 12 and 13 twins. 1914 was the first year that Harley incorporated footboards. So a lot of 12 and 13 twin owners were probably upset by this. This footboard kit is interesting because it's got clip-on rods that go across the frame to which the footboards are bolted. The rocker pedal is hooked to the hand lever for the clutch, which is in the rear wheel. On the other side, the foot lever attaches to a rod which controls a band type brake which is clipped onto the spokes. More decorative than effective, I would think. Originally, these bikes relied on a coaster brake, like a bicycle. Also very ineffective. Probably caused most of these bikes to meet a quick demise. Also on this bike are original Firestone tires, 28 by 3. They were new old stock when I fitted them about 10 years ago. The bike has original green split door spark plugs. These are the uh, these I found to be the best plugs for these old bikes. They're designed to operate in an oily environment. Also of interest is the rare Weiss gasoline gauge. This was a period accessory. Extremely rare. Made in Rochester, New York. Also an accessory is the sight gauge on the crankcase, which tells you the oil level in the crankcase. Indians of this period came with one of these right from the factory. So you can understand that somebody with a Harley or another bike that didn't have this would like to have this valuable accessory. This bike even has the original air pump with the original clips. Original standard number three pedals. Considering this bike is 98 years old, I would say it's a miracle of survival. Not only does it look good, but it runs perfectly. The second owner, Mr. Dave Choate of Peterborough, lifetime tool and die maker for Sergeant Locks, 
owned this bike for about 20 years. And in that time, he carefully dismantled the engine and rebuilt it. But he was smart enough to leave the original patina. So that probably accounts for the fact that this thing runs so well. Anyway, we're going to gas it up and take it for a ride.